Now we are given the welcome to another class on ellipse and hyperbola. Now we are given the equation or the question like this. Check the question design. Find the semi-major and the semi-minor axis of this ellipse. And we are asked to find the eccentricity of this ellipse as well. And at the same time, we are asked to find the semi-major and the semi-axis of this hyperbola. And we are given this, we are asked to find the eccentricity of that hyperbola as well. Now, we collect that the equation for the ellipse says x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1. Then, at the same time, don't forget that the eccentricity of the ellipse is lesser than 1. And that make the equation to become b squared is equal to a squared into brackets eccentricity squared. You no. Know, you know that the eccentricity is lesser than 1, so that means it will not be 1, the minus eccentricity. 1 minus eccentricity. Again, we have it to be b squared is equal to a squared, then to bracket 1 minus eccentricity squared. Now, for the hyperbola, for the hyperbola, you have it to be x squared over a squared, the minus y squared over b squared equals 1. Now, don't forget that the eccentricity of the hyperbola is greater than 1. And when it's greater than 1, that means it should be eccentricity before 1. But because this one is lesser than 1, that's why we have it to be b squared equals a squared is bracket 1 minus eccentricity squared. So it is because it is because the eccentricity is lesser than 1. So that means we can remove the eccentricity from what? From 1. That's why we have it to be 1 minus eccentricity squared. But this one is greater than 1, that's why we have the formula to become b squared, to be equal to a squared, then to bracket eccentricity squared minus what? Minus 1. Now, let's go to the question. The question says, find the semi-major and the semi-axis, at uh, the semi-minor axis of this ellipse. Now, what's the ellipse equation given to us? We have it to be 4x squared plus 9y squared to be equal to what? 36. Now, I will have to structure this equation to be like this one. In what way and we have to make sure that this side we have it to be equal to what one so what will i do now i will divide all three by this 36 so that everything will become what one year so divide by 36 divide by 36 so i have four year one four year is nine so this become x square over nine i have nine one nine year is what four i have plus y square over what over four everything equals one because 36 will cancel 36 to become one then if you check I can make this to become x squared over 3 squared. If you check, I want to relate this with this one. Then plus y squared over 4 squared can become 2 squared, which is equal to what? 1. Now, if you check the 2 very well, I can see that from here, my a is equal to what? 3. If you relate this with this, because you have x squared in the numerator, x squared in the numerator here. We have 3 squared here, a squared here. So that means our a is 3. Then if you compare this as well, that means our b is what? Is 2. So that means our B is equal to what 2. That means our semi-major is what is 3. And the semi-minor is what is 2. So that is how to solve the semi-major and the semi-minor. I think this one is very simple. But in the case whereby they ask you to find the eccentricity of this ellipse, mind you, I will not follow this formula. I will use another formula which says, so you can take note of this. This is A and B. Then the eccentricity of the ellipse here, I want to give you the shortcut which says square root of 1 minus. Now, out of the f out of the value given to you, you are going to see a, a smaller value and a bigger value. So that's why we have the eccentricity to be square root of 1 minus. Now, go back to the question given to you. You notice that you have 4 and you have 9 here. Now, out of 4 and 9, which one is the smaller? That's 4. So we have it to be 4 over the bigger one, which is what? Which is 9. Then if you press this on the calculator, square root of you have the square root of 1, sorry, sorry, you have square root of 1 minus, you press the fracture button, 4, then over what? Over 9. You press the cost to you have it to be square root of 5 over what? Over 3. Now, square root of 5 over 3, if you express in decimal, you have it to be 0 0.75, 0 0.75. Now, if you use the normal which solve as well, you are going to get 0 0.75. Now, let's get to the second question. The second question is under hyperbola. Now, if you bring the question, we have it to be x squared over 9 minus y squared over 25 is equal to 1. Then, when we make it to be like this, it becomes x squared over, you know, that 3 squared will give us 9, then minus y squared over 
5 squared will give us 25 equals 1. Then if we compare this with this, that shows that our A is equal to what? Is equal to 3. Then our B here will be equal to what? Will be equal to 5. That shows that the semi major is equal to what? Is equal to 3. And the semi minor is equal to what? Is equal to 5. Now that is how to find the semi major and semi minor. That's very quickly. Then we have number B to be the eccentricity of the hyperbola. Now follow this shortcut as well, which is square root of 1 plus, you know this one, we have the big at the numerator here and we have small at the denominator, unlike this one. So this becomes square root of, that's 1 plus. Now we check the question given to us here. The bigger one out of 9 and 25 is what? 25. Then all over what? 9, which is the smaller one. Then we press this on the calculator. You have it to be square root of, that's 1 plus, press the fraction button, you have 25. Then come to your, sorry, you have 25. Then come to your denominator, you have 9. Then press equals to, we have this to be square root of, that's 34 over 3. Then if you express this in decimal, we have it to be 1.94. 1.94 as the eccentricity of the hyperbola. Now this is the way to do the eccentricity of the what? Of the ellipse and the eccentricity of the what? Of the hyperbola. There's a formula shortcut without passing through this normal formula here. So I remain my own self, Dina David. So please and please like, comment, and share for the next video. God bless you.